Accessory power turns on when you press the brake. And it turns off when you leave the car. Even when the sentry is on. If you want to hardwire your accessory, like a radar detector, to switched 12 volts power, then continue watching and subscribe to this channel for more Tesla mods. First, why am I hardwiring it instead of plugging it into my cigarette plug? It's because the accessory plug stays on when sentry mode is on. Like many others, I leave sentry on whenever I'm not at home. And I don't want unnecessary things to be on. And don't connect it directly to the battery. Most professional audio installers will connect directly to the battery. I do that all the time for my cars, but don't do it on a Tesla. I repeat, do not tap into the 12 volt battery because the battery draw will give you error messages and Tesla will void your warranty. And do not touch penthouse. If you short circuit the penthouse, that's thousands of dollars in repairs that's not covered by warranty. Penthouse powers BC front, which powers the 12 volt battery, which in turn powers the BC left and BC right. And you want to hardwire it to the BC right because BC left is always on. The BC right powers down when the car goes to sleep. That's why we're at VC right today. Now loosen all the wires because we're going to get to the hard part. All right, here's the hard part. There are several red wires. Okay, skip the pink one and skip the thickest red one. Now start testing each red wire with a multimeter or a clamp and meter. The red wire should produce about 15 volts when the driver steps on the brakes. When tapping power, I always attach a fuse, just in case I add more accessories in the future. With no one in the driver's seat, the VC right powered down. There's no power. After stepping on the brake though, we had 15 volts. Now you don't have to do this, but when I tap into wires, I put it into a spade so it's easier to change out different accessories without cutting wires again. Instead of looking for a ground wire, I often ground it to the car chassis. I don't see any pre-existing hole to screw into, so we make our own. First, grind down to bare metal.
Next, poke a hole with the drill. It doesn't matter what size, as long as you can fit a metal screw. Remove the plastic trim behind the A-pillar. Pull out from the top. You see how it's held in place by this large pin? So you pull it out that way. Then you rock out the bottom part. Next, you run the wire along the same path as the other wires so as to avoid the airbags when they deploy. Take off the mirror so you have more space to work. Next, remove the black plastic piece behind the mirror. This part is difficult, so it helps to use a trim tool to loosen the top. After both sides are loosened from the top, pull down. It's so tight that if you want to run a wire through, you have to modify this black plastic piece. Don't worry, if you want to go back to stock, just replace this small plastic piece. Now loosen the camera housing with a trim tool. Use a trim tool to wedge the wire under the headlight. Route the wire through the camera housing down to the black plastic casing. Now you could dremel a small space, or you could snip off a couple of vent lines in the back, which is what I did. That's it! Now snap everything back into place and snap the mirror back in. Now let's test it out! Everything's off. Now let's tap the brakes. Oh yeah! Let's go! Now, park the car, get out, and walk away.
Now it's off, even when the sentry is on. Okay, get back in the car. Tap the brakes, and yes! If you got something out of the video, click on the like button, and subscribe for more videos on Tesla Mods.